Welcome to another edition of the most consistent, prolific, and dedicated uploads in YouTube's history. Sean View Entertainment on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe. Coming off an explosive day so far as it concerns WWE news, rumors, headlines, and releases, with 10 superstars released, including Brodus Clay, Kurt Hawkins, Yoshi Tatsu, Drew McIntyre, Teddy Long, among others. Huge update as it concerns CM Punk. Is he fired? Is he going to be released? Is he going to be next on the list? Well, according to the Wrestling Observer Newsletter, the WWE is going to be extending CM Punk's WWE contract past July. Remember, at WWE's Battleground, it was supposed to be the end. July, once July hit, it was all over for CM Punk. Now, the terms of this extension would be similar to what happened with Rey Mysterio's contract. Uh, the 619 star, Rey Mysterio star, had his deal extended because of a clause in his original deal which allows WWE to roll on the contract if the performer misses substantial time, which CM Punk has been out of the WWE picture since uh, January, the Royal Rumble. This time, oh, uh, this time owed means that WWE does not need a superstar to agree to the extension and they can simply tie them to the contract. So CM Punk's legally binded. CM Punk's in this. CM Punk can't get himself out of this. This would apply to CM Punk because he has missed the last six months of action and his contract, like all WWE contracts, has the option written in then for the company to extend based on wrestling missing time. On, excuse me, on wrestlers missing time. So there are, there are some advantages in WWE extended CM Punk's deal that, that would stop CM Punk appearing or competing for any other WWE or, excuse me, any other wrestling company. Excuse me, I'm, I'm all over the place today because I cannot believe the, the wrestlers that are released and I cannot believe that WWE is actually extending CM Punk's contract. Now, you can look at this from a lot of standpoints. There's, there's a lot of things going into this. Does WWE still have a lot invested into CM Punk? Does WWE still have a plan? Does WWE still think that they're going to get CM Punk back? Is CM Punk going to change his mind? What about AJ Lee? How does she play into all of this? As you can see, this story is unraveling. There is still major updates as it concerns CM Punk. You keep asking me, oh, I want, I want, I want uploads. I want news. I want rumors about CM Punk. Well, there ain't news and rumors every single day about CM Punk, and you have to realize that. But this is major news because I think this really says a lot about what the WWE wants to do about CM Punk moving forward. So, once again, major update. Once again, CM Punk still is selling a lot of merchandise, even though he's not on the roster. The WWE is still coming out with shirts, action figures, hats, posters, what have you. CM Punk still making a good chunk, chunk, chump of change, or chunk of change, excuse me. Some might call it CM Punk chump change the way he left the WWE and the ramifications behind it, and we're not getting... We still haven't got, uh, you know, a clue. We, we, we still haven't got a word from CM Punk himself as to why he walked out, we, we, you know... Nothing. Nothing from CM Punk. It's all been from the WWE. It's all been from the dirt sheets. It's all been from the rumors, the news, and the headlines. So what do you think about WWE extending CM Punk's contract past July? Like I said, maybe the WWE is still hoping that there is hope that CM Punk would come back. At this point, is there room for CM Punk? Well, with all the releases, you're damn right. And with Daniel Bryan injured, I mean, you would think out of all times, WWE taking these superstars and, and releasing them, like Drew McIntyre? Jinder Mahal? Who's next? And now CM Punk's contract. <laughs> you would think CM Punk would be a shoo-in to be released, but instead, no. They're going to extend his contract for someone that's not even there. Somebody that doesn't care to be there. Somebody that could just retire and sit back and enjoy the rest of his life. Like I said, there's a lot to this situation. There's a lot more to this than meets the eye. you got CM Punk's injuries. You have him not being happy with storylines and you know him not really wanting to go the WWE's way of things. Even though when he was going to go against Triple H originally at WrestleMania, Triple H was going to get the Triple H was going to lose. We all know past history says Triple H was going to win, but CM Punk would have went over in this match. Like I said, I'm I'm not a big CM Punk fan, but you know WWE's wrong on some occasion, but CM Punk is also wrong, and also not voicing his opinions and you know also being um, bitter about some things. Your comments, your opinions, and do you think this is right? Subscribe.